Hey, welcome to Blue Jacket Apiary. It is a gorgeous October morning. It's about, let's see, what time is it? Well, I don't have my watch on me, so I don't know. It's probably about 9, 9.30. It's just about 50 degrees, and I was really debating on whether I wanted to wait or get into my hives now, get my day over, get my beekeeping day over early, and I just decided... Uh, let's go check on the bees and let them decide. So I walked out to the apiary. It's a little bit of activity, not much, but a little bit. So, hey, if they're going to be out flying around and I can be out here in a t-shirt, um, you know, then it's probably safe for the bees. So I put something on Facebook, said some things are changing in the apiary. Uh, and they are. Um, if you remember, I got five hives. Um, three of them are, are in Ape May boxes and two of them are in Red Cedar boxes. Well, the last two are going in Ape May. So, that means today we're just going to pull those eight frames out, put them in these two boxes. I'm going to do a quick check of the hives while I'm doing that. Um, and then that's it. They're going to be done. Uh, everything I need to do or want to do is done. Uh, now it's up to the bees. They got to get through winter and we will see how that goes. Going into winter with five, I hope to come out with five. I've got some other stuff going on this weekend um, that may have an impact on the apiary. And so stay tuned and then we'll uh, take you along. All right, I gave them some smoke. Looks like we've got some bees at the top. That's okay. I'm not surprised. Give them a little smoke, see what happens, see if they calm down any. I'm hoping they do. It looks like we got a good population and they're heading into winter. That's good to see. Oh yeah. That's what I want to see. Nice big population. Give me okay, one. So here's minute. what I know so far. That frame was heavy. Probably a good solid six, seven pounds. And that's good because that means there's quite a bit of uh, honey on there. But we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep moving. They're moving a little slow. I'm going to have to try to smoke them down. Still early, so you know I'm not surprised. They haven't had their coffee yet, that's why. But uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to get them get them moved over with no uh, no issues. Get them in their new home and get them all set, and then we can move on to the other one. Stay all tuned. Right, so that's the Saskatraz hive. This is the split that I did way back in May. And uh, we'll see what they look like. It's not too bad. A little smaller than I might like, but still not too bad. Looks like we got some full frames there. So we're gonna transfer these into there and put that box where this one is at. And uh, then we'll do a wrap up. Stay tuned. All right, uh, these girls are just a little bit more testy than uh, than the others, uh, and I'm not sure why, but hey, that's okay, you know, that's, as you can see, it's a nice looking frame. It's another nice one, loaded with bees, some honey out there on the edges. They've done quite a bit of work since uh, my last, my last look-see, but that's okay. Uh, Goldenrod has been crazy out in this area, so, you know, they're working it, and I'm glad to see that. Because that means they got more to get them through the winter. Good gracious, man. These, these girls like their, they like their, uh, they like to stick everything together. They got uh, bee glue everywhere. Uh, makes it difficult. Yeah, another good frame. Plenty of bees. Good amount of honey. We'll see. You know, we uh, 
there's no guarantees it really sort of depends on what this winter is like whether uh what they've got is enough but i'm not gonna feed them because hey survival is their job i just take care of them give them a place and to live and you know steal their honey be right back all right that's what they were in all broken down the bottom board the inner cover outer cover box now they're out there five hives five apame these two on the end right there are the new recently purchased new moved into apartment dwellings for my saskatraz and my split from last year we got the survivor right there in the middle the russians and the carniolans on the end they're all put away uh i didn't look in these three boxes here on this side only because i looked in them before everything looks great i'm gonna leave them alone i looked in those two obviously as i transferred them over they look great um wish they had a little more honey but now that they're in the april maze i'm a little less worried about it than i was before uh, so we'll see you know winter's coming it's getting down in the i think it was down in the mid low 30s last night so uh it's the season Beekeeping is done for Middle Missouri. There's nothing more I can do except come out here, stare, and wish it was warmer so I could get in and be with my ladies, but that's just not how it works. So what am I going to do this winter that's related to beekeeping? Well, I don't know. Uh, I've got something going on today. I'm going to go look into somebody local wants a couple of hives on their property. So next year I may have five hives, but only have three here and two someplace else. Uh, we'll see how that goes today when I go talk to the gentleman. Um... I probably won't do any splits next spring only because I'm ready to get some payout from my hives. And when I do a split, as you, you know, if you've been with me this year, you know, when you do a split, you make two real small hives and then they've got to spend the rest of the year building up and building comb and collecting honey. And it's just, it's a first year colony and you just don't get a whole lot out of it. Um, so I think next year is going to be all about letting these hives get into their second year we've got a bunch of foundationless frames i'm going to put out hopefully they'll draw it out in the spring and the fall and give me a lot of solid uh, foundation maybe get a harvest of some kind have some honey to enjoy um, so that's where things stand right now of course all that may change when the spring comes you know uh, that you know my plans are dependent on five hives but if i don't have five then you know, maybe I will do a split so that I can have five. You know, it really sort of depends on what I come out of winter with as to how things go. But I've got plans and, you know, the best laid plans, blah, blah, blah. So we'll see. Hey, thanks for coming along this journey with me. Thanks for tuning in for another year. Um, winter's coming. Stay warm, stay safe. But above all, be kind.